Hello people, and today we're going to be taking a look at, uh, yeah, and yet another malt cart. The 76 approximately in one. OMG in one! Nah, I'm kidding. It, I think it actually says, actually I'm not entirely sure, I think it says 76 approximately 10 milligrams in one. Which makes no sense, because I'm pretty sure the cart weighs a lot more than 10 milligrams, but whatever. And as you can see, it could also be a 560 in 1, 2,500, 8,500, and 10 million in 1. Which is kind of stupid, because I can't access those ones, and they're probably just the exact same thing with repeats. But whatever, if you can see the featured games on the front, we've got Macross, featuring the spaceship. Super Pocket Monster, which features Pikachu and a midget golem, or something, I do Ninja Fighter, which apparently features, uh, is that Michelangelo from the Tears Root Ninja Turtles? Hmm, there's no deities in there. Castlevania, yeah, that looks like Castlevania or what? Puyan, which last time I checked did not have Fox McCloud in it. And Chip Dale 2, and there's Chip and Dale. So yes, um, has the idea of XB F70. Not entirely sure what that means, but whatever. Let's just get to the cartridge and take a look at it. Okay, so here is the gloriously typical menu 76 in one, and yeah, yellow on black, and no music at all. And the sound effects match in 52. Let's turn the sound down. Yes, as you can see, 20 games on each page. Well, apart from the last page, which has 16, I think. But yes, first game is Super Pocket Monster, and as you will see, yes, this might look familiar. For those of you who don't know what this game is, it is uh, a platformer starring Pikachu, except this version was rebranded as Super Pocket Monster. Um, the original version was just called Pocket Monster, in case you're wondering. And yes, you can already see the defining feature of this version. Um, for those of you who missed it, as I'll explain in a second, the major difference between this version and the original is that it is completely unplayable unless of course you tap the A boot well, like literally the only way you can make any progress in this game at all is to mash the B button constantly and even then you only get like one screen across of that so yeah um, it's basically Pocket Monster except somehow it's made even worse um, just a couple of things to get out of the way. First off, the debug mode has been disabled in this version, which means that you can't exploit that. Well, actually, there probably is a cheat to unlock it, but I haven't got a clue what the cheat is, so yeah. Um, it's also a point out that I did test this game on a Famiclone, and it played just as badly there, so it's nothing to do with it being played on a Famicom, in case you're wondering. It is just the game being broken as hell. So, game number two is Castlevania. Oh, maybe it isn't. No, it is actually a uh, Kid Dracula, which is essentially a sort of parody of Castlevania, I think. Oh no, I'm just saying it's a parody, because after all, Konami did also make parody S, which I happen to have a copy of. That is an awesome game. This one I'm not too familiar with, I have to be honest with you. Also, shouldn't Kid Dracula be dead by this point? I mean, he's in the sunlight. Yes, he comes out of his casket. And yes, it is basically a parody of Castlevania. As you might notice, the heads of display sort of flickers every now and then. Or at least it was. Hmm. Yep, it, it does it every now and then for no particular reason. Oh no, I'm not sure if it's like mapper conversions or anything like that. I haven't got a clue what this game, well, not what map of this game runs on. So like I said, I'm not very familiar with this game. Which is pretty much demonstrated by me being a noob at it. See? I mean, the music is obviously sort of remixed from Castlevania 3, and the gameplay is obviously closely inspired by Castlevania, except instead of stairs you have ladders for some reason. Not really sure why that is, but whatever. Yep, it's just a very kid-friendly platform, I suppose you could say. Storing Dracula, who for some odd reason still has grey hair despite being a kid. 
I don't understand that, but whatever. Uh, obviously, it's, it's obviously the Japanese version, but I can't remember what the Japanese title is. So, yeah, let's move on to the third game, which is Chip Dale 2. Well, actually, it's Chip and Dale 2, but yeah, it's close enough. Chip and Dale 2! Yes, um, again, the Japanese version, as you can probably imagine. And yeah, the sequel to the original Chippendale on the NES, as you are probably aware. As you can see, if you play as Chip or Dale, depending on who you pick, I picked Chip because it was the first one. And why not? Besides, as far as I can tell, there isn't really a difference between the characters of them having different sprites. One is a hat, the other one doesn't. <laughs> That's basically it. Yes, you can collect the double R symbols, which are supposed to represent the rescue rangers, I suppose. I did used to watch the cartoon back as a kid, although I don't, mean, I don't remember it very well. All I remember is that it was basically Chip and Dale and their assistants and whatever, going around solving crimes involving uh, various wooden creatures, I think. Yeah, like I said, I don't remember the show very well, so... Uh, probably best not to consult me about it. Oh yes, and after holding it for a while, uh, it sort of the box just sort of flickers, and you can throw it like that. It's got like the laser and contra, where you can sort of phase your enemies. And yes, some of the boxes are evil. Take this evil box. And yes, let's go to the. Oh, okay. Apparently, this is not the end of the level. <laughs> As you can tell, I haven't played very far in this one. I've played the first one a fair bit. This one, not so much. Yeah, probably best to dodge that thing. No, you're not killing me. Ah, next section. Yep, it's basically just the rescue range running around a kitchen for some reason. Along with idiots with pitchforks, idiots in boxes, and bees carrying tiny jars of honey for some reason. I don't, sorry, don't. <laughs> and I randomly, oh, ah, I think I ran out of health, that's why I fell to my death. Yeah, um, it's Chip Dale Risk Rangers 2, very good game, and game number 4 is Galaxian. Yes, Galaxian with a red logo as opposed to a blue one like it usually does. And there's a major difference between these two versions. The red logo version is incredibly easy because your shots move really fast. It's obviously the, uh, the hacked version, it's the original. <laughs> I certainly don't recall the original Galaxian being this easy. See, I'm dispatching the enemies with very little effort. See what I mean? <laughs> no effort at all in this one. It's, it's basically just Galaxian for retards, I suppose. It's like, well, or Galaxian for three year olds, because they don't really have to. You know, it's like they can just hold the A button down and still win. And yeah, beeping to show they've got an extra life. I always found the, uh, the purple or pink enemies or whatever to be the most annoying. That was just my opinion. Yep, I got 7 points already, so Puyan! With a copyright symbol at the top left without a copyright. I don't get that either. Yep, painfully long intro. But to be fair, it is worth it for Galaxian, which sadly does not feature Fox McCloud. It would be pretty awesome if it did. But the game is still awesome without him, so yeah. Of course I have started on the Super Nintendo, so I, if I wanted to play as Fox with Cloud, I'll just play that game. And yes, the Cat Killer I am. So we get Cat Killer, that was an awesome PC game. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Cat Killer was basically this game on a PC where you had to like trap cats in boxes or something. And it was very fun. At least at the time, I'm not sure if it's any good now, but back when I was a kid, it was a great game. Yeah, I'm really just talking about Cat Killer, I've got nothing else to say about this game, so I've played it so many times already. And there's so many different guises, like I've played this hacked form two or three times as well. Might as well complete the level at this point, because I'm near the end. Yep, you kill the cats, and then then eventually you can move on to the next level. Yes, that's uh, level 1 complete. I'm not going to bother with level 2 because it would take too long. 
Game number six is the triple jump, which as you can probably guess is just track and field. Good luck, because you're all going to need it. Yes, might as well play the triple jump scene because that's the first one on this multi cop that's uh, featured. Yeah, Actually, a bit high there, but whatever. One, get to 13. Oh, it was a came as a foul, stupid game. Oh, so apparently getting less than 30 meters is a foul. That doesn't even make any sense. Let's see if we can do it this time. Trick field speed game. So, yay, I made it. So, so world well record, but it still counts. Let's see if I can beat it. Just beat it. Just beat it. And keep in mind, the Famicom doesn't actually have any turbo buttons, so I'm just doing this all with pure effort. Yay, I still qualified. Doesn't make much of a difference, but I still qualified anyway, so I don't care. See if I could, might as well do one more event while I can. Uh, demonstrate my lack of expertise at the archery event. See what I mean? <laughs> Fired way too early then. I'm still firing way too early. Ah, I see what it is, it's uh, the wind is pointing down. Oh, go on, that was close enough. I can't handle this wind. <laughs> go on, that was on the yellow. Stupid game. Gotta say, I never understood the scoring system for this, for this particular game. It's like you have to get in the middle, otherwise it doesn't count. Oh, come on, that should have counted. Screw that, let's move on to Ninja Fighter. Which is actually icky, in case you were unaware. And icky is a game where you fight ninjas as some random bloke who collects coins. You know, kind of like Mario. Except, of course, it plays nothing like Super Mario because you have to walk around in sort of overhead view. And like I said, you have to fight ninjas. And collecting coins is the whole point of this game. Collect eight coins and you move on to the next level. I believe there's like four different areas. I did actually play through this game once and it just sort of looped after level four. Although, you get these secret letters every time you complete a level and it's like they, they still continue to give you different letters after level four. Not really sure what that's on about. Uh, I mean, Route 16 did the same thing. Except, of course, I think Route 16 had more levels. Not entirely sure because I couldn't get very far in that game. Well, it wasn't that I couldn't, it's just that I didn't bother getting very far in that game. I personally find this one to be more fun. Because you are, because you are basically fighting ninjas while collecting coins, which is very good. And then we get some more track field when I get a bother. Macross. Yep, it's Macross. I'm sure I've shown this countless other times, but I might as well show it again. Because Pirates obsessed with this game for some reason. Oh yeah, I know words because the cause it's a small game. Let's to transformer mode or whatever the hell it's called. Oh no. I need to watch anime at some point, but I'm too lazy. Yes, too lazy to watch an anime. You know, him you low when you say that. <laughs> and yes, basically, try to dodge all the enemies and you should be fine. As long as you try to dodge all the enemies themselves, you should be fine. Because if you crash into the enemies, you take quite a lot of damage. Like, it takes off a 50 year life bar, I think. So basically, just don't crash into them and. Hopefully you can make it to the end at some point. So it's okay, Mario the background while I do in this mode. I'm crashing that bloke because he's almost impossible to shoot. Yeah, of course it is basically just get a high score kind of thing. Ooh, people up, I want that. Yeah, you take the slow route and you can get power ups. You might be able to get them in the fast mode, but I've never managed it. Mainly because the enemies are a lot harder to shoot down. I swear these, I swear like some of the enemies move in such erratic patterns and makes them almost impossible to shoot half the time. And the hit detection is it's slightly off from what I've noticed. Like sometimes you'll hit the leg of an enemy and yet you'll still miss. Or I don't know, maybe they have to take multiple shots or something. But I'm doing reasonably well so far. Even if I'm running low on energy or power or whatever. 
If you run out of pill and you die and you have to redo the whole level again. Like even if you get to that bit where it says attack or whatever, you still have to redo the rest of the level. What's kind of annoying is that even if you do perfectly, your health still drains. So, yeah. Or is it only when you shoot? I'm not entirely sure. This else is better than some crap for a multicart. It's actually a pretty good game. It is. It does get bloody odd <laughs> after a few levels, though. Not to mention you can just use a sort of cheaper way to sort of finish the game if you want. Yes, this is the really slow way to complete the game. I'm like moving like a mile an hour, if that. Oh, screw this, let's just finish it the fast way. Yay, let's attack! Yes, great, could see this. <laughs> it just says attack. Ooh, I got a high score or something. Oh shit. Push the button! Push the button! Ah, I died. Okay, game number 14 because the next three are all repeats. Raid on Bay, or Rain on Bungling Bay if you prefer. Yep, it's that game where you play as a helicopter and stuff happens apparently. But this time around I'm going to go to the to the left, because I don't go to the left usually. So I might as well this time, because I've played it so many bloody times. <laughs> I'm sorry, just best tune ever. So, I mean, yeah, I know it's an older game, but still. Yes, yeah, drop the bomb, bomb the base, as they say. Should eventually blow up. There we go. Ooh, I got a special because I'm awesome. I'm not special, you stupid game. Yeah, the game's trying to insult me. <laughs> Again, I probably am if I've played this game several billion times. <laughs> and why was that hell pack green anyway? That doesn't even make it. No, I must be special if I thought that was green. Why was the? Why was it pink? Sorry, I'm going video blind after playing this game. Let's see, actually, what did that do anyway? Um, I mean, as far as I could tell, it did absolutely nothing. But. Yeah, uh, brush roller. It's just brush roller. Yep, it's that game that's a port of crush roller. Except not as good. Again, you probably know that already. And yeah, the game is an incredibly cheap bastard by forcing you to get killed half the time. Hence why I don't like it, because it, it's just a cheap boss most of the time. Like you have these blobs that are way too smart for their own good, if you ask me. And yeah, I still managed to kill them. Yeah, not very smart if you get killed by me, let's just put it that way. Um, yes, the enemies will eventually catch up to you. Unless you kill them. That's always a nice way to... Yes, do this, do this some more. Paint the road, or paint the whatever the bloody hell it's supposed to be. But I don't care anymore. So, Archery O is just track and field. Navy Seals, Jantaku Boy, Bisho Joe Sensi, Flint Mansell, Kill Tomatoes, Battle of Kingdom vs. Hero, and Metroid Nemesis are all repeats. I did actually test all of them, in case you're wondering. So, yeah, nothing special at the end. Just brush roller into mediocrity. Um, just to prove this, I'll play some Metroid Nemesis, and it is in fact just right on Bungling Bay again. So, yeah, I don't think there's much of interest to say at this point. There are, <laughs> it is apparently some other multi carts in one, but I can't access them. Maybe there's a dip switch inside the cartridge, I haven't got a clue, and I can't be bothered to check because it's just going to be the same games repeated 86 billion times anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'll see you later, people. See you.